Former President Donald Trump began the process of privatizing Medicare, how awesome. But luckily, luckily Trump is now out and we have a Democratic president in charge and I'm sure he ended this effort to privatize Medicare, right? Um, except he didn't. President Joe Biden has left in place a program, a pilot program that began under the Trump administration that has the very goal of privatizing Medicare. Let me give you the details. This is known as direct contracting, that's the name of the program. The direct contracting program was established by the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Innovation during the waning months of the Trump administration, which included former pharmaceutical industry executives, Wall Street bankers, and right wing policy consultants notorious for gashing public health programs. So great, I'm sure it'll work out well if the very people involved in crafting this program have a massive profit motive in mind, right? Now under the direct contracting model, here's how it works. So called direct contracting entities are paid monthly by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services to cover a specified portion of a patient's medical care. A significant shift from traditional Medicare's direct reimbursement of providers. So let's stop for a second. For all those goons who pretend that they hate bureaucracy, that they wanna cut out the middlemen. What this program does is implement middlemen who try to skim off or, or pocket some of the money that is provided in reimbursements from the Medicare system. That's how this program works. And they claim that it's more efficient. That's the lie that's being sold to Americans about this issue. Um, so DCEs are allowed to, this is the part that's concerning, are allowed to pocket the funding they don't spend on care. An arrangement that critics believe will incentivize the private middlemen to skimp on Medicare patients, many of whom could be auto enrolled into DCEs without their knowledge or permission. That's awesome, you know, because our healthcare system gives us so many choices, guys, so many choices. The more you privatize it, the more choices you have. Choices like not being told that you're now being enrolled in something that you have no knowledge about. Uh, by the way, virtually any company, any entity can apply to be a so called direct contractor. Okay, including investor backed startups. So Wall Street investors are chomping at the bit, they're salivating over this, they love it. And Biden hasn't scrapped it, he has the power to do it. The Health and Human Service Secretary, Javier Becerra, he has the power to scrap this, but he hasn't. And the question is why? If, if the Biden administration is supposed to be so much better, so much more decent, compared to the Trump administration, why are they putting this or allowing this program to remain in place? And by the way, not many lawmakers are even paying attention to this. But there is one lawmaker that I wanna give a tremendous amount of credit to. She's not a justice Democrat, but she's a strong progressive and that's Katie Porter. Katie Porter has been trying to draw attention to this and she talks about why this pilot program is such a huge problem, let's watch. This program was supposed to make Medicare more efficient, but actually it does just the opposite. Rather than allowing patients to go to providers directly under traditional Medicare, DCEs invite insurers and investors to step in and interfere with the care that Americans get. By adding in these intermediaries, the Trump administration undermined the very purpose of Medicare which is to provide quality health coverage and increased financial security for seniors. Why would anyone want to overhaul this program? And the answer, as with too many things in Washington, is the greed of corporate special interests. This direct contracting entity model is just one more example of the Trump administration's many attempts to wreck a functioning, successful, popular government program for the sake of lining the pockets of its corporate donors. She's absolutely right about that. Now, much of the criticism was directed at Donald Trump, especially because he implemented this program in the you know waning months of his presidency. However, 
there needs to be some ire directed toward the Biden administration and its failure to scrap this program. And uh, I mean, we're already seeing uh, the abuse here. We're seeing this being expanded. At present, the pilot includes 53 of these uh, direct contracting entities. Uh, in 38 states, Washington DC and Puerto Rico, doctors Richard uh, Gillifillin and Donald Berwick pointed out in a September article for Health Affairs that 28 of the current DCEs are controlled by investors, by investors, not healthcare providers. And guys, like, let's just stop for a second. And, and I know that this is basic, this is elementary stuff, but I, I just wanted to really sink in. What do investors do? Like, what is the objective of an investor? Does an investor, is it charity work? No, an investor invests his or her resources into something with the intention of getting a return on that investment. So the, the I mean, like the fundamental issue here is that it's not about providing health care to people. It's not about having a well functioning system. It, it's not about efficiency, it's not about any of that. It's all about profit. And by the way, since it's Medicare, it's all about profiting off of who? Us, the US taxpayers, the individuals who fund the Medicare program. Another way to redistribute wealth from the bottom to the top, another way that they're doing it. I mean, they do it through the Defense Department, they do it through the healthcare system. They'll always find a way to rob you. And Biden's letting it happen. Ask him why. Hit up. The member of Congress representing your district and ask them why they're not drawing attention to this, why they're not doing a goddamn thing about it. Medicare is an incredibly popular program because it provides health care to our seniors. And it's, I mean, it's so popular that a huge portion of this country, majority of voters in this country, would like to see it expanded to cover all of us. But the likelihood of that ever happening is lessened by the fact that the system that we have now is being, you know, ripped apart as we speak with the help of the Biden administration, refusing to scrap it. Um, one of the uh, physicians who's um, active in trying to get rid of this pilot program um, also cautions about like what'll happen if if this uh, if Medicare gets privatized. And I think we have some examples from the past to focus on. So for instance, she says, and this is Dr. Malino, Medicare Advantage, the first wave of Medicare privatization showed us that inserting a profit seeking middleman into public coverage does not save money for taxpayers, but rather costs more money while also taking away care choices from seniors. If left unchecked, the direct contracting program will hand traditional Medicare off to Wall Street investors without input from seniors, doctors, or even members of Congress. And again, Advocates, according to Jake Johnson over at Common Dreams, have been publicly sounding the alarm about the DC program for months, warning that it could fully hand traditional Medicare over to Wall Street investors and other profit seekers, resulting in higher costs for patients and lower quality care. Not a peep from Javier Becerra or Joe Biden, nothing. I mean, Joe Biden can't even get his own damn agenda passed. In the very least, he should do away with some of the damage, just some of the damage that was done by the Trump administration. Can you handle that? Can you handle that? Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.